Gentlemen, today we're going over a tactical lever gun that is rated to take down a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Clever girl. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Saved you. That dinosaur almost caught you on the toilet, drinking your coffee, eating your beer while you're watching this video. Gentlemen, I would appreciate greatly if you considered liking and subscribing and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. All that stuff does an excellent job with engagement and YouTube is not a big fan of what we do here, but it does have this thing called an algorithm and it appeases the algorithm God. So if you enjoy what we're doing here, I'd appreciate tossing the algorithm a little bone because it helps out what we got going on. My lords and lads. I present to you the Marlin 1895 SBL fitted out by Mad Pig Customs. They did some cool stuff to this gun and they have on here a bunch of Midwest Industries furniture. Now, today's theme of the video is we're doing some dino hunting. There's some dinosaurs on the loose on the prowl out here in Arizona by Jean and they want my lunch money. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and they're not gonna get it because I have a 4570. Now the 4570 being a very big beefy round. It is what we call in the biz mobile artillery. So the gun itself to me is pretty neat, but the topic of tactical lever guns makes some guys in the biz or in the gun space very upset. They shake and they pee their pants or they love it to death. So I float somewhere between it. I float around in the middle. I think the tactical lever gun is a fun idea. I think it's neat. I don't think it's a replacement for a go-to good carbine, of course, but all that being said and done, we can have fun with our guns. That's A-OK. -okay. If you're looking to rely on this thing with your life, then I think there's some case uses where this could be a good gun for you. Ultimately, though, when it comes to two-legged animals, I think it could be overkill, but you're absolutely gonna vibe check whoever you hit, so that is nice. But the tactical lever gun is an interesting little topic that rose up in recent years. I even think back to my earlier days of getting into firearms, I can't really remember too well the tactical lever gun. It kind of popped up and I think what happened is my, uh, is me shooting in the dark, is that everyone was already getting bored of AR-15s and the lever gun market existed. And some genius, whoever it was, had the idea of, hey, maybe we could sell more lever guns if we threw on some tactical stuff and it could be a fun little callback to the old lever guns, but then you have much more things you can throw on your rifle. It's a weird little space. Personally, myself, I like the idea of the lever gun for the use of a scout rifle. So. The scout rifle is a concept that was coined or invented by Jeff Cooper, I think back in the late 80s or the 80s itself. And essentially, I always say essentially, buzzword. And the thought is you have a very wieldy rifle with a large caliber. It's not necessarily that you're taking long range shots, but if you're trekking through the bush, you have a scout scope on here. You have a good field of view because you don't have this optic all the way back and finding your sight picture is very quick. And if there's big game hunting you, lions, tigers, bears, oh my, then you have a very good chance of smoking that thing. And the idea too is quick follow-up shots with a scout rifle. And you can definitely do that with a lever gun. So I mean, you're shooting, you're on the gun, boom. So you're on the gun, one, two. You already just put, now at that point, 800 grains of lead into whatever mammal is coming after you. So that's a lot of lead to dump into a living being. So I do like that aspect. Now, of course, this lever gun has a lot of pop culture appeal. Before we get to any of that stuff, let's dive into the build itself. The base gun, like I was saying, Marlin 1895 SBL, they cut it down to a 16.5 inch barrel, relocated the front sight in the magazine tube hanger, as well as they shortened the magazine tube itself. Gun only holds five in the tube, one in the chamber for six total. They also put a Mad Pig Customs Enhanced Fall and then they did the enhanced takedown screw. Internally, they did a Wild West Guns trigger, which is pretty nice. And they did a trigger action job. They dehorned some of the parts in there and they fitted the bolt to the gun itself. So they did a lot of cool stuff to the gun and the furniture itself is gonna be some new Midwest Industries furniture. They have the eight round quiver on here. And then they did the Cerakote and lasering job over at Mad Pig Customs. The idea with this gun, wanted to have some fun with it. So it's supposed to be like a rack gun from Isla Nublar, off the rack, right? It's engine property and it has a cool rack number. It's got the engine logo on it. And then we have the Jurassic Park logo on here. Yes, I'm aware how nerdy that sounds and I don't care because it's a vibe. 
Now, a quick illustration showing how big 4570 is. Here we have a 77 grain OTM from AAC 556. Then we have the AAC 150 grain 308. And then we have some 4570 400 grain hollow point. It's such a, sh oh. It's such a what? It is a big, beefy hoss of a round. 400 grain projectile. If you took two of these 308 slugs at 150 grains and combined them, it's only 300 grains. This thing is 400 grains, dude. And a plane. A plane always shows up when we're filming. To be fair, this is like the fourth plane of the day. You just happen to catch this one because we usually pause and wait. All right, I'm over it, FAA. I'm over these planes, man, FAA. This is a joke. For legal reasons, this is a joke and a goof. You, uh, what do you think you're doing out of costume? Just trying to cool off, sir. You're the unpaid intern. You don't get to cool off, buddy. Oh, shit. You, wait, were you recording that? Yeah. Might want to cut that. Beautiful day out now with the clouds. Beautiful day. Mate, day for it. So I think the tactical lever gun gets a lot of crap, and rightfully so in most cases. If you're one of those guys that's like, I will base my entire personality around a tactical lever gun, we may make fun of you a little bit. Now, if you're one of those guys who's like, I have all of my kit set up how I want to, and I also want a tactical lever gun, I think that's fine. Yet again, we're allowed to have fun with our guns. So don't let anyone bully you unless it's me, because I have no accountability. And another cool thing about these tactical lever guns is that I think we think too much of like the tactical practical. And there are some practical use cases, like I was saying, if you're worried about big game, predatory big game, I think this will definitely do the job. Name's Muldoon. I'm a hunter. Shoot ha! Shoot ha! 4570. It's a big freaking round. And then the cool thing with the M-Lock features and the huge monolithic rail is that you have a lot of options. If you want to do night vision stuff, you're hunting like boars at night. If you're wanting to hook up some sort of mounts for tripods or bipods for resting in a tree stand or resting in your, in your hunting blind, I think that's a cool little aspect to it. I think that adds a lot of options. You know, again, you have options. Options are nice. We all like options, right? We don't just want vanilla ice cream. Maybe some of us want Rocky Road. Maybe you just want something. Maybe some of us want salted caramel. Maybe some of us want mint chocolate chip, which is kind of weird, and I think that's a terrible ice cream flavor. I will give the gun props. It has a really nice fit and finish. There was nothing about the gun that made me go, ah, I don't like this. This is loose. This is rattling. I think Mad Pig Customs did a good job in that regard. Everything about it seems pretty high quality. Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not you could. You didn't stop to think if you should make a tactical lever gun. Now, what is my relationship to Mad Pig Customs? Well, the owner reached out and said, hey, I would like to get one of my builds on your channel. I like your vibe. I like your cut, G. And I said, cool. So they sent over the gun. There was no exchange of money. They sent over some 4570. Sadly, AAC doesn't make 4570, but they are the ammo sponsor of today's episode, and they help out a bunch with what we're doing here on the channel. Now, I do want them oh, to make some 4570, so AAC, please get on it. I actually don't know if they make 4570. Made fact check that. So there is that relationship. I just wanted to show it off because I think it's cool. And a lot of the channel is show and tell with a little bit of practicality. One thing I did that I did a little bit of mod for myself for my knuckles. So when you're running this gun fast, I threw some hockey tape around the lever. So if you're banging against it, keep my little soft girl digits from getting too banged up from the lever gun itself. 4570 round has a decent bit of recoil. You'll definitely feel it. And they have a big old comp on here. You can attach a suppressor to it if you want. And that fits your fancy. Now the gun Gun has some good pop culture use. Well, let me just say this. So there hasn't been too many good tactical lever gun showcases besides John Wick 4. Aside from that, the Marlin 1895 SBL, of course, showed up in 2015 Jurassic World, used by Chris Pratt, as well as, I can't remember what year, but Wind River, used by Jeremy Renner. And those were two big movies, in my opinion, for the Marlin 1895. All right, now we're going to do some ballistic testing with the 4570. We have some, um, we have some melons and milk jugs. There's a joke to be made there. I just can't find it. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I don't think there is a joke. All right. Up first, we have 5.56. Five, Next up, we have 7.62 by 51. All right. Now, 300 grain hollow point, 4570. <laughs> okay, that 
was, uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty tasty. All right, next up we have the watermelons. I love shooting watermelons. Don't ask me why. Huh. Got him. 308 yet again. Solid. No pressure. <laughs> Last, but most certainly not least, another 300 grain hollow point. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This thing is for sure rated for a T-Rex. There's some good results, some good administrative results. My expensive high-speed camera is covered in watermelon goo. And watermelon goop, one might say. Moist watermelon goop. Oh, oh! You did that to someone's noggin, they'd lock you up and throw away the key. That is satisfying. That's what we call satisfying results. Cut their administrative results. You shut your... Ah. There's always a plane. Always a plane. Plane, train, car, helicopters. It's like they know when we're filming. What if they think we're interrupting them? Like, oh, what a beautiful scenic fly. Oh, look at these ants. Look at these ants out my window, ruining my view. Like pests, this beautiful nature spot. Boof. Now there was a fun thing that happened after the Jurassic World movie is that I believe Marlin put on their website that this thing was rated up to a T-Rex. And in Jurassic Park movies, and specifically Jurassic World, when they're hunting like the dinosaurs, whether it's like a T-Rex or that one like super crazy genetic dinosaur, I'm gonna go on a tangent, let me cook. When they're shooting their big rifles at it, it's just like doing nothing to these animals, right? And they're putting big pieces of lead into these things. And I'm thinking like, you know, I get it for movie sake, like you gotta keep the dinosaur going for the whole plot line. At the same time, when you're putting this much lead, if I had like, if I had like a Barrett 50 and I was dumping into like a T-Rex, that thing's going down. Especially with some Ralphus rounds. Uh, yeah, that T-Rex is gonna get turned into mush. And if you're like, oh, reptiles have thicker skin or like they have thick armor plating, shut up. Dude, shut up. You're telling me a Barrett 50 with Ralphus rounds or even this thing isn't gonna jack up a dinosaur? They're gonna feel it. Yeah, maybe you're shooting 223, popping it with a few shots, it may make it mad. But with these kind of projectiles, I think you should be okay. Have you ever watched that one History Channel show where they're hunting alligators? They'll like catch an alligator and they'll shoot it in the back of the head with a 22 and the thing's like dead. Come on, dude. Let me have this. Let me have the T-Rex round hunter. I need this in my life. Like, as a kid growing up, I also had dreams of getting chased by a T-Rex, so in a weird way, this is rather cathartic to own a gun rated for a T-Rex. Now, another cool thing about this gun is that in most states, it's not considered like the assault weapon, and I hate that term for what it's categorizing. I don't mind the term assault rifle because assault rifle is a real term, fully automatic, carbine with intermediate cartridges, assault weapon. I'm demanding a ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines. That's, I hate that term. So it's a, it's more of a featureless gun, right? So in the states where they are trying to restrict your rights, you can get around it by having a lever gun like this. You throw your weapon light red dot on it. Now in the same vein, I hate that you would have to go around someone infringing upon your rights. So it's a weird like catch 22 where yeah, you can have your red dot, your weapon light, your silencer, on this thing and you have a, a, a honestly it's pretty decent defensive package it's almost like in that weird shotgun realm but it's not as good as what other platforms offer so it's that weird little twilight zone because to me this is kind of a weapon like a shotgun where you have a limited capacity of ammo now those rounds do a really good job at what they do just being big old chunks of lead and being extremely violent but you have to also always feed this thing in the tube. So there's some weird correlation there. Now there is the question of would I rather have a Spaz 12 or a Marlin 1895 to take on the dinosaurs? You know, it's tough because a Spaz 12 is actually a very finicky gun and it's really annoying to use at times, though it looks really cool. This is much simpler and I have a further range of where I can engage dinos at. So I think I'd rather take the Marlin 1895. What would you rather have? Let me know in the comment section down below.
Let's get, let's get a little engagement question for the algorithm. Oh. You know what this outfit is missing? A safari vest. You know who has them? Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. Fantastic young Zoomers getting after it in the Millsurf World and Arena. Guys, they have night vision knives manuals and they are one of the sponsors of this video. So a big thank you to AP for taking the time to financially support us over here at Administrative Results. Americana Pipe Dream even has their own YouTube channel where they do a bunch of fun stuff and they are pretty funny guys. I actually don't know why they sponsor us because they're, they're a good time. So check out their website, check out their YouTube and now let's get back to the lever gun. So if I was to leave you guys with anything, I would say tactical lever gun to me is more of a luxury unless it's not. I mean, unless you really want one, then that's your prerogative. But if you were like, oh, should I get a tactical lever gun or should I do this? I would do some self-reflecting and think, hey, is my go-to kit, you know, here at the channel, we think a lot more about preparedness and what is more practical. Is your go-to kit, say your go-to AR-15, kitted out to the nines where you have everything on it that you need that integrates also with thermals and night vision, drones, all this other stuff that goes into a much more practical setup and then start looking at stuff that's, hey, this is more fun. This looks like a really good time. I would encourage you to do that if you're someone that's it's like I have to have a tactical lever gun, then I think, hey, that's all you, baby. You're a grown ass man. You can do what you want. I'm not your dad. I'm a dad, but I'm not your dad. Gentlemen, this is a quick little video to go over a lever gun that happens to be a little bit tactical. cool. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I got nothing else for you. As always, catch you on the flip. Woo! It's as ridiculous as it looks from the outside, oh. too. <laughs> it feels as ridiculous as it looks. Ah! 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 Ah!